What's going on guys, it's Blink. Today I'm going to be showing you how to control your big items. I've seen many pictures on Twitter, many people posting comments on my video saying that when they save their park, the items don't look the same when they play online or if they load the park again. Now when I first uploaded the tutorial, I had only really tested for about an hour and I just wanted to share this glitch with you. But now that I've done some proper testing with this glitch, I have found a way that you can completely control your bigger items. You can also make them so they don't glitch out, they don't turn invisible. So what I've just done here is I've done the glitch of a handrail, I've saved, I'm saving the park now, and I'm going to show you what the biggest problem with this glitch is, which is when I reload my park, or if I try to play it online, nothing will look like it does now. It all really messes up, the items get squashed, as you can see, this taxi looks like it's been run over by a bulldozer. Yeah, it doesn't look the best. So yeah, this is the biggest problem and is what many of you are facing. And I have found a way, like I say, to control this. Also, these items are so big that they turn invisible. So that's not good. Especially if you're trying to build a realistic park. So what you want to do if you want to control your items is first of all, get whatever item you're using to resize side by side for comparison and you want to look for the blue circle around the item to turn diagonal as soon as it turns diagonal like that you can see the bowl is no longer straight that means that it's started to resize but it's literally either on the first or second rotation so you've done the glitch as you can see now i'm just testing that it did work yeah you've done the glitch it has got bigger, but you've stopped rotating um, basically as soon as it got bigger. So the reason it messed up with the handrail in the first clip is because the handrail was way too large. So what I've done now is I've used a pad as a template, and I'm going to show you exactly how big this pad is compared to a normal pad. So as you can see, there's not much difference in it at all, and that is the whole key of this glitch. You need to get a bigger item but it can't be too big if you want to control it or it will just glitch out. So now what we've got our template, if you pick it up and put it back down you can then select any item you want from the object dripper and all of the items will be larger than they normally are but they will also be in scale. So here I'm using the Danny Ways bowl, this is just an example because if you wanted to cover a lot of ground using only one item, this is probably one of the best ones you can use. And you'll see now uh, if I run around to each corner, the bowl doesn't turn invisible at all. Whereas if I had used the handrail and placed this bowl down, this thing would be glitchy as hell right now. So as you can see, here's a normal sized Danny Ways bowl, and the amount that it's grown is still quite impressive but this is pretty much the maximum size that you're going to be able to do this glitch and still have control over your items and not, not have them glitch out. So here's a ledge just for comparison, that's a normal ledge and the one on the right is a larger one. So if you use this kind of size pad as a template you can make some really cool stuff still. I'm also going to show you in this video how to build and save one of the really massive ramps which I had in my first video and um, because a lot of people when they've tried to save these ramps they've ended up like spawning in the sky or something now what you can do as well is you can purposely mess an item up like the taxi which was all squashed but some items look terrible like the taxi but if you do it with a tree this is how you want to do it so first of all, pick up a tree, flip it 360 vertically so it's bigger. And now you want to click your left analog stick in twice and then press cancel. And now the tree has done the exact same effect that going online or reloading the park will do. It's now all squished and now you can resize this squished version and it will save that way. So. The tree on the left is a slightly larger tree than normal, and the tree on the right is a squished tree like the taxi. 
So now if we save our park and come back to it, well I'm now actually playing online, you can see the tree is still where I placed it. We've had control over it, it's not gone massive, it's not gone under the ground or in the sky. And also this is a, another large item and so is the quarter ramp over there and this tree. So yeah, you can actually control your items by starting this glitch with a large item, but only just larger than the original. So now I'm going to show you how you can actually make and save one of these massive ramps, and you'll have complete control over it as well. You can put it where you want to. So I recommend you use something like this, you know, just a large flat surface. So you'll notice now when I'm flipping it upside down, it's only growing a small amount each time, and that's because the pad we used as a template is only just bigger than the original pad. So what you want to do once it gets so large that you can barely see it, is you want to just <clears throat> turn it kind of halfway up, halfway back down. Keep doing that, it will grow every single time you do this. So if you do this a whole bunch of times, the ramp will get absolutely massive there you go it's getting pretty big now so just position the ramp to where you want it to be and I'm just going to quickly test it to make sure that it's not too steep and you can go up and down it Yep, that works fine. And now here's a very important step to this glitch. If you want this ramp to behave online, you have to do what you did with the tree. You have to pick it up, press in your left analog stick twice to reset the ramp, and then press circle or B to cancel. The ramp will then mess up like the tree did, but it doesn't mess up too much because once again we used the uh, template of the pad which is only just bigger than the original pad so the ramp now that I'm online it's exactly where it was when I was in the park editor you can now invite your friends you can do about 20,000 foot plants down it and yeah guys if you are going to build a park at the backlot studio like I did make sure that your ramp is steep enough to clear the invisible wall because the Backlot Studio actually has a very large invisible wall going all around it. So yeah, the last thing I wanted to do with this glitch is actually some bad news. The large items work, but smaller items do not work. Um, if you save smaller items, if you try to play online with smaller items, they will all revert back to their normal size, as you can see here. So that's a shame. Maybe there's a way around it, maybe some of you guys have some ideas. But yeah, I still think it's a pretty amazing glitch, and just having the opportunity to be able to uh, resize items is pretty amazing really, considering that this is a almost 8 year old game. So yeah, I hope this uh, tutorial will help you solve some of these common problems. I'll be uploading a judo foot plant video in the next day or so. So uh, until then, take care and have a good day.